Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to check out one of the new CPU water blocks from Phobia. The Phobia CPU water block is claimed to be one of the most highly developed water blocks currently available to the water cooling enthusiast. Its design revolves around the concept of less is more, which sounds kind of bizarre, but the main focus of the block's design is gaining more performance using less material. So let's have a look at this CPU water block and see what accessories come with it. With the relevant steel mounting bracket, the Phobia CPU water block is compatible with both Intel Socket 775 and Socket 1366 CPUs. Today I'm testing the Socket 1366 mount on a Core i7-920 CPU. The Phobia CPU water block also comes with a comprehensive instruction guide that's written in English, German and French, as well as silver-based thermal grease with an applicator, four water block mounting bolts, four tension springs, four stepped tensioning nuts, and nuts and washers for mounting the water block to your motherboard. The Phobia water blocks cap has a stealthy design and manufactured from PMMA, which is a thermoplastic that's recognized for its chemical resistant properties and overall durability. This water block is also flow directional and drilled and tapped for G-quarter threaded accessories. This makes the water block compatible with both 3.8 and half inch coolant hoses. The base or coat plate of the Phobia water block is securely fastened by 8 steel screws with threaded brass inserts. The coat plate is also sealed against the cap of the water block using an NBR o-ring. To ensure the water block's coat plate has the best fitment possible against the surface of the CPU, the coat plate has been designed and engineered with a slight convex curve. Let's dismantle the water block and take a quick peek inside and see exactly what makes this piece of equipment so special. With the water block dismantled, you can see all the base components of the Phobia CPU water block. Let's take a closer look at the water block's cap, coat plate and injection plate. The water blocks cap is manufactured from black PMMA and precision machine to accommodate an NBR o-ring seal and direct flow water chambers. The Phobia's cold plate is manufactured from 1mm thick pure copper and has more than 600 micropins across the surface of the main cooling area. What's extremely unique about this cold plate is its lack of copper mass. Typically in the steamy world of water cooling, water blocks have a majority of their copper mass around the main contact or primary heat transfer points, so testing this water block is going to be a very interesting experience. Now for the injection plate itself. This plate is also manufactured from 1mm thick pure copper and has been precision engineered with 65 primary injection nozzles and 16 larger return ports. On the underside of the injection plate, things become very interesting. Even though this looks like an extremely bizarre pattern or something from a Transformer movie, the channels and ports on the injection plate are optimized to flow coolant to the key areas of the cold plate so that maximum heat transfer from the CPU's cores is achieved. The intricate channels in the injection plate have been designed for maximum water flow and as such the actual copper channel walls are only thousandths of an inch thick. This makes them extremely fragile and as you can see here several were actually damaged during the manufacturing and assembly process. This may have a negative effect or impact on the block's performance during the test but we'll see what the end results are. Let's have a look at how the coolant flows through this water block. Fresh coolant enters the inlet of the water block. The coolant is forced through 65 direct injection points that are designed to target and provide optimized coolant to quad core CPUs. Flowing through the cold plate's pin matrix and channeled by the underside of the injection plate, the coolant exits from the edges of the cold plate's pin matrix and 16 larger return ports. Now the warm coolant exits the water block. Here are the specifications of the test bench we're going to be using today. We're using the Coolant ERM3K4U5 water coolant system with 3.8 silicon hoses and the CPU we're going to be cooling today is the Core i7-920. During this test we're also going to be checking the flow rate and the pressure differential across this water block. 
Here is the software we're going to be using on the torture test today. We're going to be subjecting each overclock configuration to 3 hours abuse of Prime 95. We're also going to be using real temp 3.0 to measure the temperature of the CPU's cores during the test. And here are the overclock configurations we're going to be subjecting this water block to during the test. Again, each configuration will run for 3 hours with Prime 95. Overall, the Phobia CPU water block is an impressive piece of water cooling equipment. Cost of this water block is just over £39 or $65. US dollars. This does indeed place the Phobia against some pretty tough competition in the water cooling market. As testing confirmed though, the Phobia CPU water block is more than capable of cooling your CPU to reasonable temperatures even under high end overclocks. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you found this video helpful, especially in the design and the makeup of your next water cooling setup. And don't forget, feel free to subscribe if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in gaming and PC hardware. Thanks guys and take care.